everyone, welcome back to the channel. Quick video today, but it's a super sweet gun. Uh, don't, uh, don't pay no attention to the rust. That's just, it'd be like that sometimes when you're in the build process of an AK. Anyway, if you saw recently, we had a video about a mini barrel in like a uh, military config. The, the EO Tech, the quad rail, the archer stock, all the things. But we showed you a sneak peek of a very cool gun done by Krebs Custom, and that is an American take on the mini barrel. Uh, this thing has had a ton of aftermarket work. We'll get into that. And then we're just gonna do a bunch of blasting. And that, that's really it. I've had this gun for a very short period of time. We really just wanted to borrow it to see, you know, this speed loading feature uh, to see if maybe Krebs wanted to put that on the M23 that we've been helping him prototype for a while. But while we have this thing, I've absolutely fallen head over heels for it. It's a beautiful gun. It's 5.56, a real NATO AK for real this time. And that's uh, pretty sick. So let me tell you about what it's got going on with it and then we're just gonna blast with it. And uh, maybe we'll even get Miss Richella B over there on camera shooting it a little bit. So really quick, this started life as just your average run of the mill mini barrel. I'll show you what that looks like here. Uh, these things come in the country as pistols. So what's really cool about that, they are untouched by 922R compliant American hands. They are real deal imports, which when it comes to AKs is so few and far between these days. Real modern day collectible. And at the price they're selling these things for, you really ought to scoop one up because last time we lost barrels, they became like $3,500 guns. Now they're back at half that price. So get one while you can. Anyway, what is done here, he's gotten rid of the factory flash hider that's permanently pinned in place. Uh, it's easy to change out if you end up getting one, but that's what he's done. And he has his own AK-12 style muzzle device, which is really, really cool. And he's replaced the permanent pin with a spring-loaded plunger so you can change out muzzle brakes. Furniture is factory. I really like the mini barrel furniture. I think it's adorable. Rachel thinks it's super cute too. Really, really cool. Factory optic mount. Some people don't know that that actually is factory. One thing I forgot to mention is that Krebs actually makes a radius cut here on the optic mount. Kind of cool. Uh, Atero Arms makes replacements for these. I highly recommend it. I have tried several optics on these. I don't like any of them because they're so high. This is the shortest hide over bore I could get was just putting an RMR on a low mount and it's still too high. Uh, that's just how FB did it for some reason. I'm sure there's a reason. And it has integrated iron sights down there just like a regular one. Anywho, so that's unchanged. This one has quite a few features as we get into the receiver. So factory, they have these enhanced safeties. They're pretty tight from factory. He's loosened his up. He's actually added an ambi safety from a SIG 550 Probably not something he'll be able to do much because these parts are extremely hard to find. But you'll notice we can actuate the safety on both sides of the gun with a SIG style safety. Never seen that done on an AKM variant, but it's really cool. One of the biggest things is the left side charge. So you'll see we can charge this thing for days on the left hand. Very Galil Ace. If you're familiar with the Galils Gen 1s, Gen 2s, this speeds up your reloads by a lot. I would say 50% faster. Not having to reach over, reach under. It's a quick rip, mag goes in, quick rip. If you're right or left-handed, it doesn't matter. You got charging handles on both sides. So there's that. Anytime you do a left side charging handle conversion on AK, you have to clearance the receiver. Just something you have to get used to. Uh, the ALG trigger has been installed. The Polish factory triggers aren't bad, but uh, this is better. That's been installed, slightly polished. Really cool stock brace thing. Who even knows these days, but it's cool. And he's actually installed the SIG style pick mount that's become very popular with AKs. So you can put all the different kind of SIG braces and stocks that you want on them. It's just a really great way to mount stocks. Opens you up to a big modern world of stock options. Anyway, the biggest thing is this big paddle that you see on the side here. This is like a patented Krebs speed loading mechanism that he's been doing for some time. So you'll notice here, I've got this extended release for my hand here and I can literally spring loaded with, this, with the assistance of a spring, send the mag flying. And then when I go to reinsert, you have this paddle here that helps you guide the mag back in. That's the idea here. You can literally jam the mag in the side of that paddle and it guides you right in. Pretty cool, pretty fast when you get used to it. The only downside is it's a Polish gun. All the Polish guns really like these Polish translucent mags where they're a little sticky. 
going in and out of mag wells, so sometimes that can hinder you. But he can do this on just about any AK. So what's really nice is if I go empty, my left hand can already be on my new mag and I don't even have to touch it with my left hand at all. So we'll demonstrate that here, but that's what's so cool. That coupled with left side charge, we should get some really fast reloads. I'm done talking about it. Let's shoot it. Three flat. Two seven, both were hits and we're shooting at 25 yards. That's pretty quick. Two seven on any AK is fast. It really is. Yeah, two seven on any AK is fast and we're getting hits. I'll shoot into the berm where I'm not worried about getting hits and we'll see if we can speed it up even more. But you see a lot of one to ones where they don't at least try to get hits. Two seven, exactly the same time. Two seven is moving, man. And it's so hard to be consistent with right hand charge and having to use your left hand to flick that mag. And the, sa the smooth safety is nice too. We'll go back for hits. You see that? I couldn't break the habit, I went back with my left thumb. I was telling Mark so many people I would hand this gun to would have a hard time using their index finger because yeah. <laughs> that, that muscle memory, you know? Yep. The Eating it. Eating. Three, one, man, all of these are just easy hovering at or below three seconds. Two, seven, seven, so fast. All right, we'll do a little dumper on this one. Do a little dumper. Stay alive, camera. Woo, got a jam. Overrode the trigger. Happens. Sometimes you can ride that trigger a little too much and get hammer follow, which is what happened. Dude, I like shooting this a hell of a lot more than that military style clone of a barrel. Awesome. Hope I saved a little. <laughs> All done. Woo, this thing's handy. Very freaking handy. As you can see, this thing's an absolute blast to shoot. The speed loading system works like a charm and really does speed up the reloads. Left side charge on any gun for a right-handed shooter is going to speed up. Reloads, manipulation, everything, it's just faster. The dual safety is a really cool touch too. We've had an absolute blast shooting this mini barrel by Krebs Custom. I'm sorry to see it go, but uh, I can see one of these in my future, so stay tuned for another video. Everyone that we handed this thing to loved it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it too. We'll see you next time.